welcome our colleagues from EGOV uh, Foundation. Uh, Mr. Firhat uh, Tiagi is the Ego Foundation Chief Executive uh, Officer. The representatives of the Ego Foundation is Mita, uh, the Director of Partnerships, uh, Mr. Avekti, the Vice President and Sanitation Mission Leader, and suddenly our colleagues from uh, the SMILE team from uh, UNDP uh, Indonesia. It's really uh, a pleasure to welcome all of you in today's meeting, uh, which basically kickstart our uh, partnership. Um, uh, that they will be uh, working together, uh, not only uh, between our two organizations, but also with our local governments, uh, private sectors, uh, civil society, even beyond uh, national border. And as you know, as uh, fellow, fellow developing countries, uh, with uh, a large population, India and Indonesia certainly do face uh, similar challenges and complexities uh, with many issues, uh, particularly on the issue of uh, you know, public and environmental health. So we see uh, from our experience in Indonesia that uh, waste management is often uh, overlooked but certainly it's very critical and, and, the, and therefore uh, a big uh, concern here in Indonesia, especially during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. We can see that in July, 2021, based on the data from our Ministry uh, of Health, um, it has shown that uh, from a total of almost 12,000 health facilities in Indonesia, the average medical waste generated every day almost reached 400 uh, tons, uh, of which three quarters are categorized as hazardous waste, and uh, about one fifth is indeed even infectious ones. So these complicated challenges in tackling the medical waste, uh, the, the medical uh, waste at every level uh, are currently being studied uh, in addition to a number of efforts that have been taken by the authorities over here to address the issue. We are very pleased to see a uh, very strong leadership from the Ministry of Health. So building on that, we are continuing our effort in developing an efficient and accountable uh, waste management system, building on the great stride in the improvement uh, in public uh, health sector in the recent years. So by leveraging uh, the current uh, transformation in the technology IT, uh, through our project, which is known as uh, SMILE, uh, and uh, with a specific initiative known as the Me Smile or Medical Waste uh, uh, Smile or application. Uh, we have rolled out the system across 32 hospitals and one health center in four provinces. And we are now uh, helping or supporting uh, a network of health facilities in the, or to, um, to improve their daily waste uh, uh, management by way of tracking the waste collections, uh, the segregation, and then all of these processes are now improved through the, um, you know, a technology, IT uh, technology. So starting from uh, waste in health facilities, we aim to deploy the me smile using a platform-based uh, approach. And in this context, we believe strongly that with the technical support that you will be provided, you know, through the digit sanitation platform from eGov, we are eagerly uh, trying to explore the possibility of integrating the Me Smile and further build an end-to-end -end traceability of all sphere of waste uh, variation 
beyond the medical or uh, clinical ways. And certainly our hope is that these uh, digital uh, public goods, which has become very uh, critical uh, levers for advancing the sustainable development goals, especially goal nine on industry, innovation infrastructure, and goal 17 on partnerships. Uh, we really aim to make these facilities, uh, you know, the, to, to improve the health facilities, cities and environment and communities to be able to access more healthy and sustainable uh, benefits for all people, including women and children and people with uh, disabilities. And other than supporting the government, UNDP is also excited to build a new and larger bridge with international partner in the vision of improving the MISMILE in terms of scalability, uh, uh, enhance system enhancement, interoperability, and then make the system to be much more able uh, to respond to the new waste streams, uh, all in a safe and secure uh, digital space. For us here at UNDP Indonesia, it's really a universal call uh, for action by all countries, both developed and developing, to ensure that no one is left behind. And our mission can only be realized with a strong commitment to global partnership and cooperation. So for that regard, UNDP greatly values our collaboration. And we are hopeful that by building a beneficial uh, collaboration with EGO Foundation, we could continuously strengthen waste management in and across the country. Um, this is even becoming more critical as our headquarter, uh, the, this, the global hub for digital uh, health, uh, is also encouraging us here in Indonesia country office to, to, to further improve this system and make it even probably uh, accessible to other countries by way of them coming to Indonesia and learn more uh, about this system. So through the SMILE system, uh, UNDP and the Ministry of Health have been um, uh, implementing this system as a digital so solution. We hope that uh, this system will help us accelerate uh, Indonesia's commitment uh, towards meeting the SDGs uh, goals and targets by 2020. With that, as you can see, um, uh, this collaboration will be really meaningful uh, to us. It provides lots of room for us to learn more uh, from you, improve our uh, public service uh, quality, especially in the, uh, in the waste sector. And with that, probably through your um, support, facilitation, we can also tap much more knowledge from India uh, as we have done in the past and see how we how this system can then be improved and benefit even more people. So really, again, with that, I want to again thank you uh, for this partnership, for your uh, trust in us. Let us walk together in this journey and then learn uh, more lessons along and then build from it. Thank you very much. Slamat sore. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pa uh, Citri, uh, for your valuable remarks. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, now, um, without any further ado, uh, uh, we'll move to uh, the next session. I would like to um, welcome Mr. Viraj Tiagi as uh, the Chief Executive Officer of EGOV Foundation India. Uh, hello, Mr. Viraj. Uh, to to give an introduction or overview to Ego Foundation, um, the time is yours, sir. Okay. Thank you. Sweet. So thank you so much, uh, Chiara, to kind of uh, invite me, and uh, really good to see this uh, moment. We've been working with uh, the UNDP the UNDP team in Indonesia for some time, and uh, uh, really good to you know uh, see you all, Vidya. Uh, uh, Tian, uh, Ede, uh, and uh, of course, Sipranas, uh, a great introduction from you. I love some of the words you used, uh, you know, that we need to do things at scale. They should be accessible, interoperable, 
because I think uh, when we look at development and challenges in our in, in countries such as Indian, Indian and Indonesia, the traditional approaches of building custom software time and again is very expensive and time consuming. I don't think we have that much time to clean up our countries. You know, we need to move with speed and scale. And I think that's where I believe DPGs and DPIs have a role to play where uh, by, by, by nature, they're inclusive, scalable, and you know, uh, interoperable and reusable. So uh, the, the nature of problems changes from country to country in the context of it, but a lot of it remains the same. You know, every waste stream, there's a storage, there's a transportation, there's a treatment, there's a measurement of treatment, which is similar to, uh, you know, various contexts. So I'm delighted that, uh, you know, uh, you have, uh, you know, taken the approach of platform approach to, you know, solve this problem. Uh, and I think at Ecov, uh, and, uh, you know, I guess collective action is very, very critical to solve some of the urgent problems, you know, uh, COVID almost took like two years away from the SDG progress. So the need is more urgent for people to work together to solve problems quickly and at scale. And I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, seven, eight years ago, we are primarily a technology organization, but today we are a more a partnerships and a collective action organization. Because unless, uh, you know, we can build the best technology in the world, but unless, you know, uh, partners and networks can leverage that to solve their problems, it is of no use. So that's why we invest a lot uh, in partnerships and not just in terms of uh, uh, getting partners on board and signing MOUs, but really making partners successful. I think that's the important thing, right? So, so I think uh, from, uh, you know, te technology training to designing of platforms to products, almost 30 to 35% of our capacity today is used for what we call collective action rather than building products ourselves. So it's a, it's a, it's a philosophically very important to us to work with partners and UNDP is a, you know, uh, as we look at our global aspirations of being in 30 countries by 2030, it is uh, very empirical that we partner with uh, organizations like yourselves who have a lot of, uh, you know, local credence, local networks, and mandate to work with, you know, governments in multiple countries. And what you said is true that if it works in Indonesia, there's no reason it can't be adopted in, you know, somewhere in Africa where UNDP is working with the government on sa same kind of issues. So, so very, very excited about the, about the possibilities. Uh, I might just walk you through two or three slides just to give you a flavor of what EGOV is like, but really delighted to be to be here uh, and talking to you. Nisha? Yeah. Can you see us, Phil? Is our screen visible? Still loading. Let's see, loading. Is it come on yours? Yeah. Hmm. Still loading. Still loading. Try for one. You got the permissions? Yeah. Video still loading or uh, still even my, even mine is showing as loading. Yes, yeah, still loading. Mine. Just, just uh, do it again. Reshare. We need a DPI for this. Viraj, you're trying or trying to try again? I'll try. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's me. Now I need to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Digital transformation and you know exponential impact are the words that we use a lot. Uh, And this is a brief uh, introduction, and I think there, there are two parts to it. One is we build DPIs or DPGs, but equally we work 
we kind of catalyze collective actions working with governments and markets and multilateral like your, yourselves to transform governance and public service delivery. So uh, there are three things we do from a operating model point of view. Obviously, uh, building a platform like Digit as an open source platform, but then also working with governments and organizations that work with governments to build the capacity of the state to leverage these digital public goods for solving the problems they have. And equally, we work with a lot of market actors uh, from big four to smaller place. We have more than 200 partners now uh, who work with us to build solutions, run programs using Digit. And currently, we work across six SDGs. Uh, you mentioned SDG 9 and 17, very critical to us, in addition, 11, 6, 3, and 16. Uh, but we are hoping that our partners will take this platform across multiple SDGs. And when I say service delivery, it is simple things like cleaning of waste. It's simple things like uh, raising complaints, applying for licenses, getting your vaccinations done, delivery of benefits like uh, cash transfers, like mosquito bed nets. So anything where government needs to deliver services, whether in kind or as a service to the citizens. Uh, from a scale perspective, uh, 1.1 billion public services from payments to new water connections to uh, licenses. A uh, lot of work we do with governments on revenue mobilization. How do you create more revenues, especially with the local governments? $1.9 billion of revenue. Uh, Divoc, which was a platform uh, that we built, more than 2.3 billion vaccine certificates during the COVID vaccination rollout were done. Almost 260 million citizens are benefit. And network effects, more than 200 partners, six countries now, including Indonesia, eight sectors. And what we are very happy with is 50 plus solutions have been built by our partners. Uh, and we are hoping same will be true in Indonesia. Uh, and as I said, you know, our work is not valuable unless it is useful for people uh, like Ministry of Environment in Indonesia yourself so to build solutions on top of it. So I think, I think one of core role that we have as a foundation is to support, catalyze, and, and uh, help you know, uh, people build solutions on top of uh, digit. And we do that through you know, multiple things. Uh, uh, essentially, the platform is completely open. All our documentation, and you would have seen it, all the code is open, all the specs are open, all the APIs are open. We do a lot of evangelization. And in addition, some of the core performance of the platform is underwritten by Eagle. So if you know, uh, the Smile application is kind of build, uh, leverages Digit, some of the basic performance will be uh, underwritten by us. In addition, we do a lot of work on providing tools, sandboxes uh, to ecosystem to try out things. Uh, you have seen our design workshops on product building. And we do a lot of training. We do almost 20,000 hours of training every year uh, to partners to on technical side. Uh, and now we're running support forums and community. So I think enablement, capacity building, supporting ecosystem is a very, very serious business for us. And that is what, our, you know, when we started a journey, it was mainly for urban governance. But what we have seen after COVID is it was used in COVID response, uh, then health, sanitation, public finance management. And now people from the ecosystem are building things like e-justice, education, industry, different things are being built by both market actors, governments, and civil society actors. So I think it's safe. Uh, and that's how we're hoping that uh, we'll, we'll expand to multiple SDGs. And some of the things I spoke about, you know, we have a digit academy which runs courses, certifications, a lot of content on supporting people. Everything is open, uh, docs, workbench, and plus we do some consulting also uh, with, with our partners. And, and I guess the final thing I'll say is, and I'll, I'll kind of hand over to, uh, to Avik after this. I think what, what I've been very encouraged by is the uh, existing capacity that your partners have in Indonesia. And I think we believe uh, uh, if we work together, this could be a real 
solution, open solution that can be leveraged by multiple countries, not just in Indonesia. So uh, we are really looking forward to our collaboration. Any questions uh, anybody has, I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, hand you, hand you back to uh, Tiara. Okay, thank you, Mr. Raviraj. Um, probably we can um, save the question and answer session for uh, at the end after we finish the next two sessions. Um, but um, we can can we move to the next session now, Viraj, or do you prefer to have? Other... Well, I think we can move to the next session. Yeah, over to okay. you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Viraj, for your overview uh, on Eagle Foundation. Uh, our next session will be about um, the progress to date, uh, how we came about, and what has been done thus far. Um, without further ado, please, Mr. Uh, Avik, uh, the time is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Chiara. Thank you, uh, Ciprianos and the UNDP team. Uh, yes, we have been working for some time and it's really nice to see this moment. We are all together uh, with this uh, partnership. Um, uh, just like Viraj had mentioned, uh, our whole uh, approach to an organization is to build and catalyze this entire uh, digital ecosystem. And as part of this, sanitation was one of our uh, key missions that we started a few years back. And uh, uh, for us, the mission statement is that we do want to see zero untreated waste in about 1,000 habitats in 1,000 days through this entire ecosystem, which uh, can be catalyzed. So very critical that we kind of look at how uh, different waste streams can get um, um, uh, built on the system. Um, uh, over a, a period of time, uh, in the last few years, our focus was primarily on, uh, in India, we started with the uh, fecal sludge management. Uh, this was on a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, where this was an important issue that uh, the country wanted to address. And uh, this is where we had we we worked with a lot of partners on the ground, both uh, from the government, uh, from multilaterals, uh, from local NGOs, as well as private sector organizations, to see how we can kind of understand uh, key um, problems that need to actually get solved. And that's how we kind of uh, build our work with. Um, uh, these organizations to see things that we move around technology, around the policy space, and around how do we drive programs. Um, so, um, we, um, next, yes, sorry. So, our, our first uh, foray into the uh, fecal sludge management uh, that we did in India uh, was with the state of Orissa. It is the uh, small green state that you will see on the India map on the right side. Um, so, uh, so with Orissa, which is kind of a more of a developing state, uh, they had a they they kind of went very um, aggressive in terms of building local uh, 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 FSM treatment plants, and they kind of built over 115 uh, treatment plants. Um, so our journey with them started about a couple of years back, and uh, as of today, we work with them in 69 urban and uh, 1,500 uh, rural local bodies. Uh, also driving the agenda on something that we term as urban rural convergence, which is picking up a lot of uh, momentum in the country here. Uh, so we have seen some good momentum in this um, uh, in this state uh, with a lot of properties kind of calling for desludging, which means to say that they kind of are aware of the importance of wanting to make sure that the environment is clean. Uh, public health uh, uh, incidences kind of also drive them to kind of make sure that some of this desludging is done. Uh, the, we, we have metrics kind of which kind of showcase in terms of how much of uh, sludge has been disposed, uh, what is a the, the estimated revenue which has been collected, and there are quite a few others in terms of what is a service level agreement, how often does the sludge gets picked up, and so on. So, um, so we, we are very uh, we are at a moment in India where um, uh, seeing the example at Orissa, uh, there has been interest from uh, quite a few other states. Uh, who are also looking at um, uh, uh, similar solutions for waste management, whether it is fecal sludge management or even looking out for used water. Uh, but that's the journey that we started. So at this point, um, yeah, so, uh, so this is a, the, so it, it's around probably around January when we started the discussions with UNDP. Anita, I think you had connected us with uh, VIDIA and uh, uh, so over the last uh, six months, we've um, kind of seen quite a few key milestones that has uh, kind of uh, happened. Um, uh, you know, soon after our initial discussions uh, in January, we, where we try to understand uh, whether the platform itself has the capability to kind of work with uh, on the medical waste. And so we, we, we did a three-day technical workshop with the UNDP team 
um, kind of give an overview on overall, how does Digit actually work? What are the different services on Digit? How can this kind of be repurposed uh, to, to, uh, to build solutions on, um, say for, I think for vehicle tracking uh, uh, is, is one of the things that we tried, uh, uh, which we discussed in this workshop. Uh, we also try to understand the MeSmile application uh, so that it becomes easier for us to uh, kind of work with your team to support um, as the team builds uh, the entire application uh, for MeSmile uh, on Digit for Scale. Um, so uh, we are the situation. We are, we are here today at um, yeah. We 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 have also signed the MOU and um, we are here at the kickoff meeting. Uh, we have an exciting next uh, uh, time until December. And uh, I will hand this over Chiara to kind of, to see to it uh, to kind of take you through uh, the rest of uh, um, the the plan we have till December. And quickly summarizing what we kind of talked about the platform approach. Uh, Cipriano's, I think you already mentioned this and that um, uh, the platform is uh, uh, built to kind of see how we can scale this up, uh, not just within the MOH con context of uh, thirteen thousand facilities but how do we also eventually partner with uh, the Ministry of Environment and other uh, ministries who might be relevant, where we can bring in similar solutions which are interoperable with what they already have and extend uh, beyond medical waste into domestic waste or into other kind of waste that is important for Indonesia as a country as we go ahead towards the SDG goals. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, thank you so much. Um, Mr. Avi, for your presentation. Um, now, to shorten the time, I would like to directly welcome our colleague, Pak Pian, for his session uh, about uh, the overall milestones and the end output uh, that we expect for the future. Pak Pian, the time is yours. Thank you, Chiara. Hello, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon from Jakarta. Good afternoon. Yes, thank you. So let me start uh, to share uh, my screen. Yes, we can see your screen. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. So, uh, firstly, perhaps uh, I would like to start with the brief uh, update, yeah, related to the uh, Miss Smile. So, initially, uh, Miss Smile uh, is an application for the medical uh, waste management, or now we call it a uh, Miss Smile. Me is uh, strength from the medical and e waste medical waste in Smile. So was developed as a pilot uh, project in the three hospitals. Okay, this to support the internal process starting from the recording and manage the result of the segregation of the waste generation. The recording, the origin of the waste source, and for example, from the patient room, laboratory, etc., including to identify type of the medical waste, and then uh, generate the QR code labels for the east waste bags. So this is one of our strength. Uh, in the mismile, so we can identify the waste bag with the QR code. The second one is the strength of the mismile is treating the high accountability. This is testimony from the, our uh, also uh, hospitals. Yeah, the accountability in the process when they waging or scaling the waste uh, bags. So the IoT technology used for that. So the scale with the indicators and the IoT connecting to the application, and then the officer. Uh, scaling uh, and then the data, the weight of the data just go to the application. That's two of the strength of the smile. Uh, and then uh, also we uh, have a successful implementation to the 30 sites. The testimony is same. So the our strength with the IoT and also the uh, QR code. So from the 30 uh, hospitals implementation, we have a new uh, update from them. So that's why now we can, with loudly can uh, speak about the end-to-end. -end. Why end-to-end? -end? Because we just not only to uh, scale or just only to identify the waste, but also we know well about the internal process of the mismile in the each hospital. 
So from the 30 hospitals, we get a more uh, update. So also be smile, uh, update and enhance the feature of enhancement of that to uh, manage and supporting for recording data from the uh, internal uh, treatment process in the uh, hospitals. For example, so the waste bag come to the core storage. There is a some feature to be managed for the limit uh, days and then how to create a QR code to be managed and something like this. And then after that, the internal process like for the incinerators and also the autoclave. So we uh, get a more uh, learn from that regarding the internal treatment from the uh, hospital until the output from the incinerator becomes a residue. So residue is become a non-hazardous uh, uh, material or non-hazardous uh, uh, material from the hospital. So the good news from the 30 hospitals uh, implementation, so they also request, uh, can we smile manage not only for the medical, but also for the non-hazardous. So the expansion of the uh, material uh, potential in the MISMA will be uh, come higher and uh, higher and bigger. So after that, uh, we get uh, more uh, information and also get more the learning about the uh, third party. The third party is missing the provider. So after the uh, after the waste. Uh, uh, internal in process or get to go to pick up to the transporter. So they have a, th uh, a, a third party have to transport to the uh, mismal. And then uh, for the get uh, the end to end of the uh, what's called the uh, process in the mismal. So you see below the box digit sanitation with the digit. This is what we need, we will to go. So perhaps we can add uh, uh, one more uh, uh, after a 40 solution, yeah? Uh, like uh, <laughs> you will become 41, yeah? We will become 41 solution on the top of the digit. So yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, after uh, Afik and the team, uh, Tahera, Shabashini, we discuss technical, so, we we just we know the how uh, we will go to the uh, end to end uh, medical waste and also with the digit. So the end to end about integration, the end to uh, 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 end uh, come from the mismal to the digit and then this is expected as the product, correct? As a product uh, for the mismal as a platform. Mismal as a platform is to manage the healthcare waste uh, in Indonesia. So I just uh, noted the vision from the digit, uh, the high scalability, the interoperability, and also easy sharing of data with the single source of truth. I think this is the become a, 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 our vision, yeah. We uh, smile on the top of the uh, digit. And then uh, with the technology base, uh, the we smile on the top of the the digit become the open and the driven uh, open source data uh, standard with a scalable, secure, and also reliable and easy to use. I think we are very happy to uh, uh, join or collaborate with this uh, program or with this uh, 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 cooperation. So, and then uh, we also have the sum of the uh, from now from this uh, this month to. Uh, have uh, some uh, planning. Let me go to the next slide. Yes, this is uh, the what we already discussed yeah, internally with the, uh, our team, also with the with the DG team. So uh, yeah, we we will have uh, like the discussion with the online or the via Zoom or by uh, remote. Yeah for the initially or the, for the uh, requirement design like where it is. And then there is some kind of really details data and also Tahira already shared to us, to us also the regarding the uh, Digit Academy. We will explore more about the Digit Academy, how to get more uh, knowledge or more skill from the Digit. And then uh, perhaps we'll also make uh, some uh, uh, page one, page two, and a page two so also we have a plan to uh, 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 your uh, visit uh, from uh, your team, Digit, to Indonesia. 
uh, perhaps in the September ya yeah, we will uh, make a plan on that so and then we can uh, more uh, discuss or more uh, discuss how to uh, as a product design so we need more uh, improvement and then after that uh, go to the next phase to the technical design perhaps in the uh, further uh, the months of that in october perhaps to the general the technical design and hopefully after that uh, we will have the hospital is the version one yeah version 1.0 uh, bismal on the top on the digit i think uh, hopefully uh, at least we can have uh, uh, use your more your service like uh, in the tech, the reuse of the, your service. And also we don't have to develop from the scratch, but you still under your digit driver as a platform, perhaps for the authentication, for user registry, perhaps for the flow uh, management of the mismile. And then at the end, the API gateway, because the, the, the important thing is the integration, not only uh, mismile uh, in the Ministry of Health, but also we have a Minister of the Environment called Siraja. Siraja is the other party uh, the third party from the internal of the hospital. And then after that, uh, we can also uh, add, uh, analyze uh, for the analytical or the dashboard. So this is a service uh, for the uh, version uh, 1.0 mismile on the top of digit can be uh, born uh, or launched in the early of the January. This is the our plan. I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank very you. nice. Yes, yeah, so over to you, Sarah. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you so much, Patian. Now uh, we will have the open discussions uh, session. In this, uh, in the rundown, we only have around um, five minutes for the session, uh, and we already overdue by almost ten minutes, everybody. So um, hopefully, we can make it quick, as others will be having um, other schedule. Uh, so please, if anyone have uh, questions, maybe one or two questions, uh, please uh, raise your hand or just open the mic. Does anyone have any questions regarding the um, previous sessions, maybe from uh, Pak Tian's uh, presentation or Mr. Viraj or Avik? Or Ms. Yeah, Kedia, just, have, just yeah. I think just confirmation to Mr. Firas. Is this correct? The uh, Bismal as the forty-one solution. Yes. <laughs> 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 and a uh, couple months until January. <laughs> absolutely. It's okay with first. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Firas. Any other? Yeah, questions? maybe very quick uh, from me. Uh, no, thank you um, very much again, uh, Mr. Firaz, Avikti, Ms. Nita, and team. Uh, you know, reading a lot about your organization from documents is really different from listening to you and seeing about this, you know, the very, I would say, the strategic objectives and the visions that you have. I'm just pleased, you know, UNDP is very committed on open source, right? Making digital solutions uh, a blessing for many, uh, not a privilege for few, right? Yes. So I think that's that's really makes that's that's really makes us very excited uh, to engage in this uh, partnership, and then beyond that, also to create what is it you know to open. Uh, the uh, wide access for people from very different walks of life. You know, <laughs> UNDP being also very strong on the what is the commitment to to governance, right? Uh, what is it? Um, the leaving no one behind, the genuine participation, the you know that uh, what is it? Uh, unconstrained access for all. Yeah, no, I I see all those elements within the, your presentation, within your vision, and then at the same time also I see that uh, at the technical level, your organizations and our team have been engaged on you know, preparing the very uh, technical uh, details as how this uh, cooperation will be operationalized. I'm just very pleased to see that. As you know, um, uh, as uh, you know, a multilateral organizations, there are 
when we come to engaging with the private sector, there are a number of steps that we need to navigate ourselves, you know, to, to bring our organizations up to that uh, level. And I'm very pleased that out of, um, of uh, many initiatives, this one uh, came through. So certainly it comes with uh, great expectations as well. Absolutely. And then uh, <laughs> and then now the Ministry of Health, as you know, there is a dedicated digital transformation office that has been pretty much uh, championing this, leading from the front. And at the same time, Indonesia is looking at the, you know, the, the, the forthcoming capital, right? in the, the new capital in in uh, Kalimantan yes uh, you know with the big, big agenda of making um uh, what is it uh, uh Indonesia much more Indonesia centric not so much java centric right and then uh, the vision is to make it much more you know built on uh, smart city using all this technology you know green cities and so on so i think uh, Whatever lessons that we gather from here, uh, uh, I think this will also open uh, what is it? Uh, open up opportunity for us to to offer such a digital solutions to become public goods that can be used even you know in a wider scope in Indonesia. Yes. So yeah, I have this optimism. I am very certain that you do share that optimism as well. So yeah, let's. Move <laughs> Yeah, we'll make it work. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. This is really encouraging. And I think uh, I, I, won't, I don't want to repeat and don't want to eat on the time, but we are 100% committed to make it successful. And we've been very impressed with the level of you know engagement, the technical knowledge. Uh, I think it's at a different level. We have worked with a lot of countries now. We're talking to only at least eight, nine countries across the globe. But I think level of coherence that we saw in this group has been very, very impressive. And that's why we are very encouraged by even the plan that, uh, you know, uh, Tian showed. It's a wonderful plan. And, you know, we should just make it happen in 90 days and, and then see what next we can do. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, Chiara, over to you. Thank you, Pa Sipri. Um, is there any other um questions from uh, the participants here today. Um, I think there is no other questions. So we can close this uh, discussion session, I guess. And um, thank you, um, everyone. Now that we have finally uh, reached the final session, before we close uh, the today's meeting, uh, I think we will be taking one quick photo uh for everyone so please everyone um make sure you, you open your camera and uh after that mas ade uh you can uh take the screenshot thank you Jira. okay um one two so three Okay, uh, I think that's all. Was I did? Like this? Could we <laughs> okay. This? okay, we can do this as well. This is Miles' signature. Okay. <laughs> yeah, wait again. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Right? Super. Okay. All, all right. right. All right. Thank you so much, you. everyone, uh, for your time. Um, okay. For today's fruitful meeting. Um, this is the end of the session. I hope we can uh, continue this um, exciting partnership uh, in good faith. And hopefully this meeting will um, catalyze our cooperation and journey together for the better. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, 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 everyone. Bye. Bye, bye, bye Thank Dita. You. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste.